We've got the potential homicide of Who Patrick. Homicide. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> Barry. <laughs> and the key suspect is Anthony Gifford. I'd like to call up my crop uh, the scene I'm officer. Not suspect. <laughs> the scene <laughs> officer to uh, Get bring, it wrong. bring about her general information. Yeah, okay. Don't give me abuse or I'll bust your ass. <laughs> respect, <laughs> respect the officer. That's fine, man. When we went to the crime. We found, uh, obviously, a body. Uh, we found at 10.30 a.m. Shut up! Um, the body was found by a tree surgeon who had been booked through the trees surrounding the house. Uh, it appeared that the deceased had collapsed after passing the car around near the garage. Hmm. <laughs> the garage was likely screened from the front door of the house by trees and bushes. Casual visitors will not have noticed the body. The house is a large detached property standing on its own, surrounded by woodland. So, forensic specialist reported the crime scene. An immediate examination of the body revealed that the victim had been dead for about a week and that he had probably died of a stab wound to his abdomen. A large amount of money was found in a package in the deceased jacket's pocket. It was 250000 an immediate house-to-house -house question revealed three independent reports from the residents in Garland Road of one, two men shouting in the flat below, two uh, men shouting followed by a car screeching away, and a man in a mow car <laughs> swerving around and driving like a man. None of the reports, maniac, sorry, uh, none of the reports could be exact about the date, but all three were sure it was before the bank holiday weekend a week or more ago. A search on the on the drug crime base, database revealed an Anthony Gif is it Gifford? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A 35A Garland Road with previous convictions for drug dealing and petty theft. A warrant was obtained to search his flat on May the 12th, and Mr. Gifford was questioned. Mr. Gifford denied knowing the deceased and couldn't really explain why he had healed cuts and bruises on his face and body. A briefcase containing about five kilograms of cocaine was found by Sniffer Don in the loft of the flat. And the last slide. A search of the desk outside the flat produced a blood stained shirt. The rubbish had not been collected during the week and there had been a bank holiday. The deceased had been formally identified by a neighbour as Mr. Patrick Barrett Hughes, aged 33, a sole resident of Greyfriars White Coast Hill. The neighbour reports that Mr. Barrett Hughes worked in the city as a stock broker and he reputed to have had many noisy parties that he had. Mr. Gibbons had been charged with possession of cocaine and he has been released on bail. Very good, Tara. Right. <laughs> uh, now I'd, I'd like to ask my forensic experts to come in. The finger printers, please. <laughs> When we were analysing the prints, we were looking for a minimum of 16 matching points to confirm that the fingerprint was the same. Um, examples of things we were looking for include rods, dots, ridges and corks. Um, so we found that we could confirm that Mr Anthony Gifford was in contact with Mr Patrick Barrett Hughes as a print of his indexing finger and then were found on the jacket pocket of Mr. Barrett Hughes. <laughs> Mr. Barrett Hughes' fingerprints were found in a briefcase containing cocaine, the print being of his middle finger. That's what we found. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Can we, can we have a little body just to go on there? What did you find with the body? Um, from the information that we found, though, the cause of death was from a ruptured capsule on the spleen, resulting in internal bleeding from the stab, obviously. 
Um, and the blood sample contained, um, he was intoxicated, so he, was actually, he had actually had cocaine in his body. Um, the normal dosages would be about 500 um, micrograms, and he showed a thousand, so that definitely had a lot of it in his system. It was pretty much about it. Sure, uh, Mr. Gibson. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <coughs> Griffin. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Righty mate. Okay. Because we found maggots on in wounds, obviously that wound I mean, uh, we to assess how how old they were we had to uh, work out the average temperature of the week before the uh man's discovery. And we found that it was 9.92 degrees, which that's in he, uh, this mile was taken from his stab room. Um, we, it was measured at 17 millimeters, and then we estimated that it had, it was after 10 days old. Um, this mile was taken from his hair due to its measurement of 16 millimeters, and an analysis of the target that was found on the body, we have established that it was 9.5 years old. Thank you. Um, the poop part taken from the nostril. Um, we confirmed, conferred with the Xeno crime officer and we found that there was a cocaine residue in the victim's nasal packages. Um, when analysing the measurement of 1.8 millimetres, 1.18 millimetres rather, of this people, we found it to be 17 days old. However, cocaine is stimulant and accelerated the growth and development of the people, thus we have determined this as a normalist finding. Okay, these are some graphs showing the emergence of adults from these maggots. So this is this is uh, when well, this is when we found them. And this is when the flies emerged. So from that we can conclude that maggots developed into flies after 17 days. That's from the, the wound. This one's from the hair. It's 19 days. Uh, the uh, nostril is <coughs> the result, so it's 13 days, but that seems reasonable. And this one's from the blood stained shirt found in the bin, which is. So, what day we need to go? So, 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 According to the quote, time of discovery of the body after egg length, which we deem to be 10 days, is equal to the time taken for the complete life cycle of the fly, which is 28 days, uh, as we found by the second generation being developed, minus the time taken for the emergence of the first adults from making found of the body, uh, so this one, 18 days or 17 days, we deem to the person to be dead about 10 to 11 days before they were found. Thank you.